Infinity Nerds Tour presents. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for another unboxing. I'm back with my buddy CeeLo. What's going on, guys? All right, CeeLo, so it finally came in. Castlevania Requiem Collector's Edition from Limited Run Games. Wow. Yeah, now if anybody remembers wow. the big video that we did have was the Castlevania Anniversary Collection unboxing. Thank everybody for that one, for watching that. And I did have a lot of questions of guys were like, well, what about a couple of the other games? And I'm like, well, it's in this collector's box. And I've been waiting for this one to come in. Uh, it finally came in, so we're actually going to do an unboxing of this. Can't wait to check it out. This game has Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood. So those were the two games I kept getting asked about when we did the anniversary collection. The anniversary collection did not come with those games, but this one did. So I did pre-order this one, and we're ready to unbox it for you. All right, guys, so here's the box unwrapped. It is a very nice looking box. What a difference it makes, like when it was wrapped and then you just unwrapped it, and wow, it just Pops up. We'll start opening it up and start seeing what's inside of this box. So it comes with the small cartridge. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So already, I saw this. Okay. That actually looks cool. Did it come with a card? Yeah. Uh, just like every limited run game usually does. This obviously is the Symphony of the Night. So that's pretty cool. If anybody remembers, Rondo of Blood was on the Turbo Graphics CD. That's one of my favorite Castlevania games as well. This looks really cool. If anybody remembers Symphony of the Night, remember you would save the game and it would be in one of these. It would turn into a coffin right around him yeah. and then you would save the game. So that, that's actually pretty cool. So let's see what we have in here. Looking forward to what's inside. Okay. Okay, so it looks like this has a certificate of authenticity. It is 8129 out of 9100. It has a certificate right here, you can see. Um, we also have, oh, that looks cool. Kind of like an NES box. It's a little bit thicker than one, but the box art looks cool. I like the uh, the artwork on it. Let's see what we got in here, Celos. Very excited. I've been waiting for this box for a while. Same here, and I'm glad that they chose the uh, NES style packaging, and that's how it should be because you know. That's... Oh well, hold on. Oh, oh okay. okay. Sorry, guys. So it's a slip case, and then the box inside. So we have the game itself, and then it looks like we have, oh, okay, that's cool. Look at this, dude. Nice poster. Let's see what we got here. Try to open this. I'm assuming it's for both games, um, one in, one front and one back. Let's find out. Yep. So on one side you have the Symphony of the Night artwork. That looks really cool. The other side you have the Rondo of Blood. That looks really cool, dude. That is nice. Aren't those nice? Yes, it is. So that's pretty cool. It's a double-sided poster uh, with really great artwork from both video games. So that's really cool. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Uh, you have a soundtrack. So that's pretty neat. Uh, it's just a soundtrack selection. And then inside is just you know some extra cardboard. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just oh, okay, to, okay. to hold the game in. Okay, let's see what else is in here. So there's a PS4 oh. packaging, right, that you can use. Okay. So it's like a, an extra, you know, in case you want to change the labeling, you have those two options. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. They give you that option besides what's there. Wow. And I like this, dude. That is really cool. So Symphony of the Night on one side, Rondo on the other, in a steel book. And the inside's nothing special, but the outside, dude, that is amazing. That is. That looks really, really cool. Look. Okay. This is data saved. I remember um, that. I'm sure all of this goes together somehow. You know, I kind of wish they would, you know, have instructions exactly on how some of this stuff goes together, because I'm not really sure. Okay. I'm, assuming, I'm assuming this goes here, right? Oh, that is neat, dude. It's a replica sword. Nice. 
that he uses. So that is really cool. And the morning star, look at that. Yep. That is so cool, guys. So I don't know if you all guys can see that. I mean, but that, that's actually really cool. So you have uh, the morning star here, and then the sword. I mean, I guess those could also possibly go in here as well. And then this, I thought was pretty cool. So, yeah, it's a lot of cool little items. Now, I don't remember the retail price. I'm gonna have to look it up. But it, I mean, honestly, this is really cool, dude. I like it. Yes. Um, oh, wait, so there's a... Okay. You see that? Yeah. What does it say? Remember what I told you? When he saves, when he saves the game, it's in one of these, and then it'll say data saved. That's hilarious. So that is pretty cool. <laughs> How cool is that? All right. <laughs> That's pretty neat, man. I like this set. I think it's pretty sweet. I love those two games. Those are two of my favorite Castlevania games. One of them stuck to the regular 2D. Yeah. The other one kind of took it in a whole new direction, whole new type of gameplay with um, Symphony of the Night. Yeah. But what do what, you think of, on when you first played the Symphony of the Night compared to the NES? My, my thing is like I've loved all the Castlevania games. Rondo was a tougher one to eventually play. I didn't play it that one. I never got a chance to play that one. We had Dracula X. Yeah. I remember that. It was a port, but it wasn't 100% of what you can get with playing Rondo. Yeah. On the Turbo Graphics, but you had to have a Turbo Graphics CD and you had to get it from Japan. That was a great game I got to play later, but yeah, by the time I got to Symphony, I was like, oh wow, this is a whole new direction that really expands upon what we've already had from Castlevania series. Yeah. When they coined the name Metroidvania, yeah. was when Symphony came out. Because it kind of followed what, I guess, Metroid was already doing, mm -hmm. like in the Super Nintendo days. Yeah. But still was in the Castlevania world. So they added their own layer to it. So it was really cool to see it evolve because I enjoy playing both of the games. Yeah, they're great games. Back then, and yeah. just looking at this package, either way it goes with their previous video of the Castlevania anniversary set, and this one, both of them are worth having. The beloved Castlevania series, Billy, all throughout the years, I've enjoyed, and I'm thankful that they're not remaking them, but like, bringing them back, bringing for them everybody, back yeah, for everybody to enjoy, for you guys to enjoy. Yeah, because these are kind of, it's not that they're hard to get, but I mean, Castlevania on PlayStation 1, Symphony of the Night is, is a little on the expensive side. Yeah. Uh, you can get it digitally. You can also get, I believe, this one digitally. But I mean, still trying to get those games is still a little difficult. I, I believe these came out on, like, on PS3 for digital download. Mm -hmm. Rondo of Blood, I think, is on the TurboGrafx Mini. Yeah. So you could play it there. That's I mean, true. I mean, there's ways to play the games, but it's kind of cool that, hey, they're like, hey, look, we're bringing it back. This is on PS4, so you guys did see that. So you can try that. I believe, and don't quote me on this, it's been a while since I looked this up, but I believe the Rondo of Blood is, is translated in English. So you'll be able to enjoy this in English. I did grab a copy of Rondo of Blood reissued for the TurboGrafx system. Nice. Like a new game. It comes with two versions in Japanese, and in English. That, to me, I've already gotten to experience that and it is awesome playing it on an original uh, TurboGrafx CD and really taking the game in from back in that time, you know what I mean? So this is gonna be fun to be able to try this way as well. Well, I'll make sure to one day let me borrow it to replay it again. I'm looking forward to see what's next from Konami. Like, I've been really hoping for another Castlevania game. Yeah. You know, we haven't gotten one in a while. I like that they're doing this. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but I really hope eventually they'll move forward and give us something new. I feel the same way too. I would love to, uh, to have a new Castlevania to play. I wanted to do this unboxing because I did mention it in the comments for people that were asking. For you guys. What about, yeah, what about Rondo of Blood? What about Symphony of the Night? And I'm like, no, it's coming. I'm just waiting for, for them to release it. So it finally showed up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys think. Which one is your favorite? There's always a fight between the two. Kind of cool that they package these all together. The Symphony of the Night for me. I like Rondo. Uh, I like all the little trinkets with it. Let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, were you able to pick this up? Unfortunately, guys, I did not buy two copies of these, so I can't do the giveaway like I did with the last one. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think, and I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Later.